Hey everyone, today I'm really excited because I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite scratch games in no particular order. So let's get right into it. Also, just so you know, all of these scratch games will be linked down below. So you can click on them and play all the games that I'm showing. All right, so the first one is called Bouncy Heroes. So here we are on the title screen and already this is a very, very polished game. You can tell by all the graphics and the effects, all the little details, the animations, everything about it right off the bat looks very good. So the whole kind of goal you're doing is you're jumping on a screen and you're trying to squish these guys. So as you can see, I can use my right and left arrow keys to move or WASD. Okay, I hit them, I got killed. But you can use right and left to move and then the S or down arrow will actually like kind of do a push down. This game is hard, but as you can see, it kind of squishes them. It's really, really polished. Like if you pay attention to the ring effects there, all the circle like that one, the flash effect, the ring effect, screen shake for it, the background slightly moves. And as you can see, it's really polished when you get knocked out. This is your money. I have 109 coins, so I don't have enough to buy these, but look how many skins there are. There are a ton of skins and they all have special abilities. So what I found so awesome about this game is it's such a simple concept, like just jumping on enemies, but because of the polish and the awesome art, it feels so fun, even though it's a pretty simple game. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. So for number two, we have a game called Square Apocalypse. It's a top-down shooter game. And as you can see, it's a very simple art style. It's nothing really super crazy complicated, but you'll see once we start playing, it's a very, very polished game. So if we go ahead and click on the button for playing, we can select what game mode we want. I'm gonna do random gun and random power-ups, and I'm gonna click play. And as you can see, it is simple, like I said, but the controls and the polish, all the particles, the shake effects, really, really, really feel good. So I'm just gonna go crazy clicking and, oh, I got hit there. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart. As you can see, the transitions are smooth. I'm gonna play again. Round one, I have a rocket launcher now and it's all the guns have different effects, but it's super polished, as you can see, this rocket launcher does way more damage. It's like basically an insta-kill. Also the cool thing is every round you get a brand new gun. All the different guns have different knockback, different damage, different all sorts of stuff. So it's really fun. Next up we have Drop the Ball 2. Now this, I'm gonna say right off the bat, is an insanely good game. As soon as we start, as you can see, it's a, a very, very polished game. You can choose, I'm gonna click this ball. And then let's tap to play and let's pick level one. As you can see, just from like everything, it's just, it's quality enough to be like on a actual mobile game. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the ball. As you can see, look at the polish and like everything is just super smooth. And the whole mechanic is you're trying to get rid of all of the balls and depending on the numbers, how much health the ball has. So this one is two, so you'll have to hit that two times. This one's one, so you only have to hit it one and that's the amount of balls. So as you can see, if we hit that, oh no, I don't think I'm going to get this. So if we throw that, boom, oh wow, we got that. And there's a bunch of levels to play through. I'm not going to go through all of them, but what I really like about this is just how it feels really fun to play. Like, it's satisfying when you're hitting the ball, and it's really rewarding when you finally figure out that piece of the level like I just did there. Like, oh yes, I figured that out, finally. And they keep getting challenged, and all the levels are unique and different styles of having to play and I think it's a very good game overall. So number four on our list we have one called the Ninja 3D and this one really blew me away when I played it. So the title screen is really cool with the parallax it looks really awesome the buttons are nice and responsive and this is all cool and all but you may the first time you play this and you may be thinking to yourself okay so what's unique about this but if we click new game here first of all that's amazing as you can see here when we join in it is actually a fully 3D game in Scratch. And I mean like, you know, a lot of 3D games are made with pin, they're laggy and they don't look as good. Look at this. Like if we walk up to a wall here, you can actually see like brick texture and the text up here. So hello, young ninja. You can all see me at the moment, but I will help train and guide you through your journey here. Like you can jump and later on there will be shuriken. So we, the whole goal is kind of like a normal platformer except it's 3D. You have to make it to the door, right? And then there's wall collision, all that stuff. So you have to jump over it. 
but it's just like amazing. Here's some 3D parkour, and I just, man, the 3D is what really makes it awesome. Right here, some parkour, parkour. This one is an amazing game, and it is awesome. And this is where the new mechanic comes in. So it's a ninja star here. If we collect that, as you can see, we have one ninja star up there. And, oh, wow, there's a ton of ninja stars. So here is what it looks like throwing them. It's super fun to throw shurikens. To get to the door, you have to destroy all of these targets. So you have to collect the ninja star thingies and get to the, and break all of them. And sometimes they're a little bit harder, like this one. Look at this. You only have three stars to throw, and they're moving targets. So there you go. I got that one. Let's try to get this one. No, I missed it. No, I'll have to probably restart because see, I'm out of shurikens, so I'll have to press R to restart. So now I'll throw that shuriken. Maybe I can get it on this side. Oh, wow, I'm really inaccurate. Okay, so the next game I have is called Flying Space, and what sets this game apart from all the other ones is the art style. It has a ridiculously good art style. As you can see here, it's really cool because it's kind of a really awesome hand-drawn type of look. There is a cutscene, but I'm going to skip it. That way I don't spoil anything. So the whole mechanic is you are a little spaceship and you try to get to space. So as you can see, if we get, oh, there we go. We got a really high meter. We're starting to fly into the sky and it's really cool. We actually go high and we try to collect these little resources to level up our rocket ship. So now we, we ran out of fuel and we need to use our resources to level up it. So I'm going to level up are my wings two times and as you can see actually our wings change and all these have effects on your rocket ship and as you can see like i said the art style is really really cool for this game not something that i see very often also the animations are really good next up we have an extremely polished and extremely addicting game called wood smash and this is a super fun game with a simple mechanic but really polished kind of like bouncy heroes so here we are on the title screen it's very responsive everything is nice and bouncy and we have right here is our skins for our ball we only have one because i haven't played any if we click play there's two types of movement that we have we have a mouse one and an arrow keys or the WASD. I like mouse and then the I'm gonna do easiest difficulty. But as you can see, wherever I go my ma wherever I do my mouse, that's where our ball goes. And it's just a infinitely bouncing ball. You don't have to click anything. It's automatic. But there are actually cracks in the board here, and if you jump on them, as you can see, it it smashes the board. And if you touch the spikes you get knocked out. And then another mechanic is right there is a blue ball. As you can see, if we have that, it's like a shield. We can take one more damage for from the spike. So with that, I'm gonna show some gameplay. As you can see, it's really polished and it's satisfying to hit the boards and break it and try to get like combos like done, done. And there's lots of different game modes. There we go, we just got an achievement good start and getting achievements will unlock new balls i believe so i'm just gonna go as like as far as i can i got a shield there the, and then as you can see now since we're getting lower the boards are actually moving so it makes it more makes it more challenging Ooh, 97 here that's pretty good yes i got another shield i'm not sure if the shield effects stack actually there we go i got another one i i'll we'll see though i got like four of them so hopefully they all stack. Look at that. We are getting some awesome score here. Oh no, I got knocked out. So as you can see, there's all the game modes and the two different ones. And then also there's high scores. So for the mouse on easy mode, it's 2,071. Okay, so the seventh game is another game that I think is good enough and looks good enough and it has a good enough mechanic to go on like an ag the app store on a phone that you could download. I mean, it is like that good. The art, the mechanics, everything is awesome. Old Monster Miners. So here we have some instructions. Drag similar monsters together to merge. Higher level monsters will make more money and then the more you mine rocks the more money they make as you can see they level up and then you have a button that's fast forward to fast forward everything to make more money 
and there it is as you can see everything is super polished so here we are in the main map we have these little slime guys and they hit the rock and you make money then in the store we have all sorts of different monsters but we don't have any unlocked and it is an insanely polished game and it's super fun so if we go ahead and fast forward as you can see everything kind of goes a little bit faster we're starting to get a lot of slimes here oh look at our rocks leveled up now this alone would be pretty boring but this is what makes it so cool as you can see if you can drag any monster you can delete them if you want if you drag them together it combines it i mean just look around and see the absolute polish and how satisfying it is all the particles you can combine all any monster together that's the same type for instance i can combine these two ones and it'll make a new one then i can combine those two ones and it'll make an even newer one so ooh, now we have a pink monster like i said as you can see here this one is making eight these are two look at that 120 so the better they are the more money they make so that's the whole reason why you want a better monster so i'm going to combine those and now you need to fast forward so ooh, we just got one now i'm going to combine that one so as you can see here say we don't want to go through merging them and we go to the store all the ones we've unlocked we can actually buy and like look how polished it is so this one we need is twenty five thousand dollars we don't quite have that money so at this stage of the game it's your best to oh we just got one no way so i'm gonna merge that and now we have a, like a tooth monster but at this stage of the game it's kind of just best to really just fast forward it as fast as you can then once it fills up just merge all of them together you can just play and keep upgrading and it is a very polished fun game so for number eight on our list we have a awesome platformer called ninja cat now this game is super super good so right off the bat as you can see it's a very good looking vector game and if we click play there's a bunch of levels but they're locked and say level one we start as you can see here the platforming mechanics first of all is scrolling which makes it awesome but then like how it pans forward when you move all that little details how it wall climbs all the animation the vector art it feels like a good engine it feels really well thought out and as you can see there's lots of things we can do so i'm hungry use the wasd or arrow keys to help me get some fish so the whole goal is you try to collect all the fish we have one out of eight fish and you can climb on stuff and go all around the maps trying to get the fish so let's go up here go over here there's all sorts of stuff now i've beaten this game several times because it's such a fun game and just it's awesome for inspiration but there we go we're jumping around our house and there's this should be the last one i think there we go as you can see we've completed the level and this is a very cool little effect that comes up and now we've unlocked level two wow there's a lot of water here better i better avoid it i can't swim and honestly the best part about this game is when if you jump or fall into the water look at that animation come on you cannot tell me that's not the best animation ever i mean i just i want to watch that over and over and over oh here's a fish and oh here's a little froggy rivet can't swim Try using your claws to knock down the log hanging from the vine. Just stand next to the vine and press space to cut it. So that's a new mechanic they're introducing. As you can see, if we press space, you kind of turn into an evil cat and you whack. But if we jump up here, we can actually cut that log so it goes over the river, actually. So we can run around on it and get over the water. So I'm going to collect all the fish I can there. I'm going to cut another one jump across and it just feels really really fun on number nine on this list we have candy clicker and this one i knew i had to include a clicker game but i think this one holds a one for one of the best clicker games on scratch and it's just super satisfying and polished it's kind of a mix between pixel art and vector art and it's something i've never seen before but it, the person who made this does it really good and come on this is pretty funny look at his description pro tip click so as you see here we are on the main page and if you don't if, and if you aren't familiar with how clicker games work they're kind of where you have your main money and you click it to earn points as you can see up on the top of the screen so the more you click the more you get money now by itself that would be pretty boring but the thing that makes it fun is there's upgrades that you can buy and that's really really cool how you can move through the upgrades like an actual scroller and 
all the upgrades cost more money and they all have their own unique abilities. So this first one is $25 and it increases click power by one. So I'm gonna buy two of them. As you can see now, we upgraded it two times. So now we have three per click. So the more you upgrade that, upgrade that, the more money you make. And there's tons of upgrades. And what really does it for this game is the polish of when you click it. As you can see, there's lots of effects like where it throws out the little baby candy coming out and it's really fun to do that. Then how it grows a little bit. So if you can click really, really fast, as you can see, it gets really, really big and it's so fun. And the last but not least on this list is Geometry Dash. It's like a remake of Geometry Dash in Scratch, but oh my gosh, look at the views on that. That is a huge number. 26 million people have seen this. So that's that's, yeah, that's decent. And you can kind of imagine why this is so cool. It even has a high score. And yeah, as you can see, let's just do the typical one. It's just like Geometry Dash. It's all the polish and fun stuff of it. And it's awesome. So I'm going to see how far it can make. And why it's on this list is just come, come on. He may remade the game in scratch so i'm gonna just show a little bit of gameplay here we can click to jump i think we can click like space yeah space works too and it's just like really really fun and satisfying to jump oh yes finally i made it over that it's not very easy not even gonna lie it's a hard game but it is really fun because once you finally nail it it's like oh yeah i nailed it oh yeah Boing, 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 boing. Oh yeah, this is a fun part right here. And turn into a little rocket ship going throughout here. Wee hee, yeehaw. Oh, I almost hit the ground there. That was not smart. Oh, come on, come on. I'm making it through here. Boom. And I made it out. I'm back to being old square. But this game is pretty hard, so yeah, don't- Oh no, no, I wasn't paying attention. But this game is super, super fun. If we go on the title screen, the high score is 968. I want to try to beat that. See if we can do it here. No, I was at 563. No. 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 Never mind about beating it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my top 10 favorite Scratch games. Now, there are way more of my favorite Scratch games. I couldn't put them all on the list because the list would be about a million long. Those were just some of them. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. But anyways, this has been Owen, and I am out.